Okay, uh, for question number two, a telephone wire 8 millimeters in diameter uh, is subjected to a cross flow wind and begin to shed vortices. Some figure from, from the figure, what wind velocity in meter per second will cause the wire to sink at middle C or 256 hertz? So this is actually uh, a dimensionless question. So uh, what I want you to know here is actually not only could solve this problem uh, I just want you to get some ideas sometime in uh, fluid mechanics uh, problems you could solve problem by having or by using dimensionless number but there are a lot of dimensionless number so means that you need to open back your do some revision in your uh, textbook uh, in the fluid mechanics book or, or in uh, viscous flow textbooks you will find a lot of uh, uh, dimensionless number and I hope you could uh, uh, choose wisely when to use the uh, dimensionless number so for example uh, we have Renault number so to know about the uh, lamina anti boolean and if we are going to solve this problem this is about the oscillation problem so we we could use one uh, dimensionless number called a uh, Strathow number. Okay, so that's why when you read journal, sometimes they will plot a graph against the dimensionless number. For example, they will have the uh, Nakensel number and so on and so forth. So it means that I hope you could uh, uh, learn uh, a little bit about the dimensionless number after this. Okay, so for this uh, problem, so the, the start her number can be written like this one. So we have FL over U or FL over D. So here, so you will found that the, the equation is slightly different. One of, them, one of them is using L and another one is using the D. So this is actually the problem in dimensionless uh, analysis. So means that if you do your master project and so on, so maybe you could change a little bit from your uh, equation but you must change it very carefully so the the uh, the best way is you you do revision about the dimensional analysis but here i would like to share you uh, a tips okay the simple one is you probably could change the parameter above dimension so if you could see here the l here is actually reflect the length and the d here is reflect reflect the diameter so mean both of these uh, parameter is actually talking about length about meter the unit is meter so means usually scientists will change the the uh, dimension parameter because the dimension parameter will reflect the the object the object shape and size okay that is the very simple modification from the previous uh, from the common uh, equation that's why uh, as uh, as we discussed uh, last time so we have Renault number sometimes you could uh, calculate as rho vd over mu sometimes you could uh, calculate as rho vl over mu and sometimes you could calculate as rho v hydraulic radius over mu okay so because we normally scientists will change the uh, the length the the parameter which reflect the dimension, the size. Okay, so if you use this one, okay, normally uh, in this case from the textbook, it's explained that normally people will take it is equal to 0 0.2 because if we do the experimental, uh, uh, we do the experimental work, so we have the uh, wire, means we have a circular wire like this, okay so and then uh, we will found that it will steady around this area to this area so these numbers is actually 0 0.2 so this is one example which I said uh, last time sometimes uh, scientists will do the experimental works they do uh, they plot all the graph and then they start to do the analysis and then they start to curve fitting so for example in this situation they will find that this region is actually the best region for normal application so they they found that the number here is 0 0.2 so means that after this 
the all the uh, modification and so on must be uh, fulfill the idea of uh, Stroholm number of 0.2. Okay, that is the idea. Okay, so what is the application of this one or what is the uh, phenomenon of this one? Okay, for example, you have a uh, uh, electric wire from point to point along the road, for example. So if the wind blow very high, so this wire will will moving will sometimes it's singing singing means it will create a sound okay after that they will move they will as uh, oscillate means they will move up and down sometimes right to left very heavily and it's lead to the catastrophic failure okay so that's why we uh, that's why sometimes uh, we we could see that uh, that they try to stick together uh, all the uh, uh, wire here with a one bar like this if you go uh, along the road you would find this idea because they don't want the wire uh, oscillate and then uh, touching each other and uh, create short circuit okay something like that okay. so if you calculate this you will find that uh, we substitute the value of 0 0.2 and then we could get it is equal to 10.24 meter per second and then we could calculate the uh, Renault number we we could get it is uh, 5400 so it is uh, so so here as I said you yeah you may use Renault number and then because the situation is you have a circular wire like that and then the wind blow like this so means that you have two parameter actually you could measure the diameter and for sure you could measure the length so in this situation i hope you could very carefully choose the right parameter you need to choose the the most influence parameter for your calculation so between uh, diameter and length here we found that diameter will give more influence it could affect more it could affect more because the larger the diameter means the the larger the resistance so in this situation we take the uh, the diameter here and then we could get it is around 5400 Renault numbers then you could choose very well the the region whether it is laminar antibulin depends on the situation okay normally uh, in flow in pipe so let's say we go back to flow in pipe okay so the the region is between 2000 and 4000 so mean this is fully lamina this is fully tabulan and this is the transition so but in this situation this movement is not flow in pipe the this movement is actually reflect the flow around bluff body so it is uh, same with the you have a, a aircraft uh, aerofoil here and then you will have uh, wind flow so the the situation is same like this then the the limits or the region the the boundary between the lamina and tabulan is actually 5 times 10 to the power of 5 so means that 5400 is still considered as a lamina uh, flow for this situation Okay, however, if you have an aerofoil here, okay, the situation is the same. You have a wind blow from right to left, from left to right here. This is also, you have a wind blow here. So, but for aerofoil here, we found that the length, the span length here is more uh, affected the movement. That's why we calculate the Renault number in this situation is rho VL over so it depends on your definition in your research because it is not just uh, having equation and solve the problems but in a master level you I hope you could do some analyze try to fit all the calculation in your uh, problems okay so we go for question number three it's uh, related because uh, for uh, question number three here it asks you to calculate the drag force so for sure if we have a circular wire like this so and then we have a flow here so and then this wind could push this wire moving at certain uh, distance so the, the pushing power here is actually force 
and then because we are talking about the resistant force so we talk we call it as a drag force so i think you you already know about the drag force and then the lift force okay so and then so uh we go for the uh, solution first so we could say that okay according to the calculation here if we calculate the Reynolds number so that it is equal uh, around 6400 so here this is the value of mu means uh, the the value of the uh, dynamic viscosity of this situation so we have the wind here okay we have the uh, speed here so we substitute everything so we get the the Reynolds number is 6400 okay so and then okay uh, in master level okay we cannot use just one uh, single numbers that is the difference between the undergraduate and master so for master level i hope you start to uh, start to uh, learn how to use table or figure or chart to to solve your problem so for example uh, here we have a, a table here a, a fig a chart showing the drag coefficient for a circular cylinder so it is found that when the Reynolds number is increased means the uh, speed is increased so the drag coefficient cd is reduced okay however it shows certain uh, trend here it will go uh, increase and then go back to decrease like this so and then uh, we calculate our Reynolds number is 6400 so we take it is here so and then please very carefully to read the the x axis here because it was written in uh, like this way so means that 6000 it is between 10 to the power of 3 here which is 1000 and 10 to the power of 4 which is 10000 so 6000 may be around this one so if you see here so you could find that it is around 1.0 here so and then we take this value as the as the numbers in to solve the problem so and then let's say okay so according to this one so i estimate uh, it is equal to 1.1 so and then we substitute the uh, into the equation i think this is the common equation to calculate the drag force fd equals cd times 1 over 2 rho ab square and then we could calculate this one so and then we found that it is equal 0 0.76 newton per meter okay what what is the meaning of newton per meter here because normally for force the unit is newton so why we have a newton per meter because we are calculating per unit meter so this is a uh, quite common method uh, in a uh, real application okay again uh, as a master student so i hope you could uh, understand very well how to solve problem how to choose the right value so for example here we have an a the cross-sectional area so we have a circular wire like this okay so and then we have a what a flow from left to right here so we assume that the the projection area so the projection area means the the diameter here times the length okay so and then the diameter here the, the height of this distance is actually the, the diameter so according to the question we have okay so if this it's same with this one so I think uh, it's 8 millimeters here so so we use 0 0.08 0 0.008 times 1 meter because why we want to times 1 meter because we assume that we are calculating for every 1 meter so and then we could get it is 0 0.76 newton per meter so means that for every one meter the drag force occur is 0 0.76 newton